Welcome to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. If you're on a mission to be more frugal with both your time and money, you're in the right place. In this podcast, we talk about topics that help enhance living a frugal lifestyle. The goal is to save time and money where we can so that we can use the rest on what matters most to us. We talk a lot about both time and money management so that we can waste as little as possible on both. We do this while also embracing a progress over perfection mindset. If that sounds good to you, then please stick around for the latest episode right after a few quick words from our sponsor. Hi everyone, welcome back to my weekly meal plan episode. If this is new to you, this is just an episode that I do each week where I quickly share with you what's on my meal plan for my family for the upcoming week. There's also a blog post that goes along with each weekly meal plan that can be found on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. And in that, it just basically lists out what was mentioned on the podcast for each day of the week. And then there's links there um, to any recipes that I mention in the episode. Um, If you're going to be looking to make that specific recipe, you can, um, the link will take you right to the website where that recipe can be found. I do these because I think meal planning is really important and I think it just helps save us a lot of time and money and waste less food and my hope is that these episodes will maybe either give you some ideas of some meals you might want to make. Um, you know, you can even go get some of the recipes. Some people like to do that um, or just even just to motivate you if you don't want to use any of the recipes that I'm sharing today. Sometimes just hearing about a meal plan can kind of give you some ideas or just kind of motivate you to get your meal plan together. So this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, September 3rd. So Saturday, I'm going to be making creamy herbed pork chops, which is from allrecipes.com. Um, like I've always mentioned, when I make this recipe, I don't actually make the creamy part to go over the pork chops. I just use the recipe as a base um, as far as cooking the pork chops, where you basically heat up some butter in a skillet and you season the pork chops with um, Montreal steak seasoning and then cook them up in the butter. It's really simple and I just really like the pork chops that way and I love anything that's quick and simple. So that's why I use this recipe a lot. I'm sure the creamy part is good. I just have never done it. Um, And as a side, we are gonna be making a new recipe which is from Julia, Julia Salb, juliasalbum.com. It's J-U-L-I-A-S-A-L-B-U-M.com. And it's creamy spinach and mushroom tortellini with caramelized onions. So this is a recipe that my daughter found on Pinterest. She has been helping me add some new recipes into the meal plan. Um, and this was something she just added to my Pinterest board the other day. So I thought it would go good with the pork chops. Um, I forgot, I didn't really mention in the beginning, but generally I kind of rotate the same meals um, over a period of time. Like we do hamburgers every other week. We do a Mexican theme on Tuesdays. We kind of rotate the meals that my family generally likes just because I don't have a lot of time right now um, in creating meal plans and adding in new recipes. But I do add in new recipes when I have time or when I feel like it. And if my daughter is going to take the time to search for a recipe I don't mind making it because it doesn't take me any extra time to add it into the meal plan. I just don't normally have time to be searching for recipes and figuring out when I'm going to fit them in. So I looked at the board that she created and I saw that and I thought, oh, that would probably go good with the pork chop. So we're going to try that new recipe this week. For Sunday, we're going to do um, chicken, sausage, peppers, and potatoes. This is from allrecipes.com. For this recipe, I have a um, an electric roaster oven that goes on the countertop. And I really love making this recipe in there because I just turn the roaster oven on. I throw the sausage and um, chicken and potatoes and um, peppers and onions in there and drizzle a little olive oil over, season it with salt and pepper, and then I just let it cook all day. Not all day. Um, for It cooks for a few hours, and I just stir it up every once in a while, and it's just a quick, easy one um pot, pan, whatever you want to call it. It's a one dish meal and it's just super easy to make and everyone in my family really likes that and it's great for a Sunday when you're just kind of getting things done around the house and it can just kind of cook. You know, you just throw it in and then you just start every once in a while and then it's done and it's a good, quick, easy meal. So that's for Sunday. For Monday, it's our hamburger night. Like I mentioned, we do hamburgers every other Monday night. So that is, that falls on this week. 
Um, I am going to be doing just regular hamburgers. I don't have a recipe for that. I just basically take ground beef and make it into patties and throw it on the grill or on the stovetop, depending on the weather. And then I'm going to be making oven fresh seasoned potato wedges from allrecipes.com. These are just um, potatoes that you cut into wedges and toss them in um, a Ziploc bag with some olive oil and Parmesan cheese and some seasonings and then um, just shake them up and bake them in the oven. They go really good with hamburgers. And then we're gonna, just gonna do a can of pork and beans to go with that. Tuesday, we are doing sheet pan chicken fajitas. This recipe is from foodnetwork.com, but it's just your typical fajita recipe. Um, it's just cut up chicken with peppers and mushrooms and some seasonings, and we just bake it in the oven and then serve it with some flour tortillas, some sour cream, some salsa, um, avocado, that type of thing. And then I also have started making some rice on the side to go with it uh, because my husband prefers to put the mixture over top of rice rather than having it on a tortilla. So that is for Tuesday. For Wednesday, we are doing um, a seafood night. We always usually do seafood on Wednesdays. So I'm going to be making fried flounder, which I don't have a recipe for um, because basically what I do is I just buy the store bought frozen um, flounder, like the individually frozen um, pieces. And I just defrost some, I dip it in butter and breadcrumb, and then I fry it up. And then for sides, I'm gonna be doing um, spinach with garbanzo beans, which is from allrecipes.com. Um, garbanzo beans are chickpeas, in case you're not familiar with that term. Um, but it's just a good quick side dish where you basically saute up some fresh spinach and chickpeas together in a pan. And then I'm also going to be doing cauliflower au gratin, which is from allrecipes.com. And this is um, just like what it sounds. It's cauliflower with um, cheese and sour cream mixture and you bake it in the oven. My family really likes that. So um, it's a good side also to go. It goes pretty good with the fish. So that is for Wednesday. Thursday nights, we always do breakfast for dinner or soup and grilled cheese because it's the night I go food shopping. So this week, we are trying a new recipe, which is from spendwithpennies.com. And this is, um, the recipe is called hash brown breakfast casserole. And it's basically a casserole made with hash brown, potatoes, um, sausage, and peppers, and eggs, and evaporated milk, and some seasonings and cheese. So it's kind of like all the breakfast things in one casserole. So I thought it might be something a little interesting and different for our breakfast for dinner night. So I'm going to try that out. And then for Friday, I'm going to be doing one pot creamy pesto chicken uh, pasta, which is from budgetbites.com. It's budgetbytes.com. This has become kind of like a new favorite recipe. Um, I may, started making this maybe a couple months ago, but it's just really quick and easy and I love one pot meals. Um, it's got penne pasta and chicken and pesto and it's just a good quick easy meal to make it kind of like something I prefer to make on like a Friday night or something when I just kind of want to get dinner done somewhat quickly and be done for the night. So that is it for this week's meal plan. Don't forget you can find all of these any recipe links um, for websites that were mentioned on my website at lolasfrugallife.com. So that's it for today. Thank you for joining me and I hope you get your meal plan together if that's what you're looking to do. <laughs> and uh, I will see you here again with another meal plan next week. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode. And don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at lolasfrugallife. And you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash lolasfrugallife. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see your listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast. So that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have an awesome day.